what about if you want to actually show the values? I want to show both the values and the percent. I want to know what is this 7.55%? What's the amount there? What you need to do simply is drag your revenue again. So we're going to analyze two things. We're analyzing revenue sums as well as percentages of totals or percentages of row. We have two analyses we want to do with revenue. The sum of the revenue as well as percentage of total or percentage of column or row. So you just drag revenue a second time into value field. Once you drop it, you can now see one revenue field is percentage. We can change the heading. I just change the heading to percentage contribution. And then this one can just be revenue. Now if I type revenue and enter, it's going to reject it. You're going to see an error message come up. And that's because you can't use the same name as a field. You can just write revenue here. It's just one of the restrictions. Well, there's a trick we use, and that is after typing revenue, put a space bar. So see the space bar? Nobody can see it. But as far as Excel is concerned, revenue with a space is different from revenue. So you see your report looks much better. So you have two analyses you're doing with revenue. Now, if you look at it, we now have a new field called value field to the right, values. The values, because we have two analysis we're doing in this pivot table, you now have a values field. And the values you're looking at are coming in under column because you have analysis, all the different uh, values are in columns. But I don't want them in columns. I could take this value field and drag them down to rows and you can see the difference. What happened really was the values I'm analyzing are now in rows. They're not in columns anymore. So depending on how you want to look at the pivot table, that's why it's called the pivot or pivot table, you just pivot it the way you'd like it. And that's how powerful pivot tables are. But the most important thing really is get your data. Make sure your data follows certain rules. Now, this data basically is called a flat file. So there are no empty columns, no empty rows, one row of headings, data in a single column. There's nothing obstructing your data anywhere around the sides. You do not have totals or subtotals anywhere. This is very important. You shouldn't have any totals or subtotals anywhere in this data. You can have totals and subtotals in your report, but for the data, you shouldn't have any. Thanks for watching another training video from Deep Brown Consulting. See you in the next video.